and welcome back to the final lesson from the history of the web. I wanted to finish things off with this diagram that we've seen before in previous lessons with a few minor differences. And that is I wanted to show you how web applications were built in the early 2000s. So they were built with technologies that we've come to familiarize ourselves with. We have HTML, CSS, JavaScript, but we also had jQuery. And jQuery was a library that allowed JavaScript to be written in a simple, clean way that allowed us not to worry too much about working in one browser than the other. It created this environment for JavaScript to flourish. But it is an outdated technology and there's better ways of doing things. So it is not used very often and you'll see it less and less in job postings. And then on the back end, we have the LAMP stack. And that stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. And in those days, back end developers used PHP to write files that allowed us to have logic on the servers. And then we had Apache. So if you ever use something like HostGator and you had to log into cPanel or any of those very common hosting platforms, most likely they're running Apache server. And what it is, it's a software that really efficiently serves up files. And PHP is a language that it's still being used today and Facebook actually uses it, but that's because their website was built in the early 2000s. It is now a very unpopular, let's say, language in terms of growth and job opportunities. And then we also had MySQL, which it's still being used. But again, if you're looking to get hired, you want to look for skills that are highly employable, people are looking for them, and there are still very few developers that know it really well. Well, that's what we're learning in this course. In this course, we're going to learn HTML5, CSS3. We're going to learn JavaScript. We're going to learn React, probably the biggest library for JavaScript. And we're going to learn about Node servers, Node.js, Express.js. We're going to learn about Postgres SQL and also MongoDB. So we're learning all these things in order for us to build clean, fast, and bug-free web applications so that we can stand on shoulders of giants and create wonderful applications that we're proud of. So get excited. All the theory stuff we're done with, we're going to start coding. We're going to start off with HTML, then get into CSS, and then finally JavaScript and React. And don't worry, we'll get to the back end as well. So I'll see you in the next section. Bye-bye.